and small talk. Isn't that a contradiction? Time is money versus conversation skills. It's important to know that there are some key differences between business small talk in the US and in the UK. Number five, modesty and honesty. Oh, don't ask me anything about the company. I know nothing about this kind of work. Now that's something an American would never say during small talk or any other time. But a Brit could say it. They love this self-deprecation. But be careful. The people saying this are usually only those that are confident that everyone really knows they are actually experts in their field so they can get away with it. And just a heads up, it can come across as a little smug as well. Number six, joking or not. We're going to be fired for taking such a long break. In America, this statement could be taken seriously. In the UK, however, it wouldn't be taken so seriously. Of course, it all depends on the intonation. We're going to be fired for taking such a long break. That obviously was not a joke. In the US, hiring and firing can happen pretty quickly, so it's rarely a joking matter. In the UK, joking during business conversation is completely normal, if not mandatory. In general, taking yourself, your work, or your achievements too seriously makes you yourself a joking matter in the UK. Number seven, direct or detour? What if you are unhappy with a situation at work or bored with a conversation? Most of the time, Americans will straight up tell you if they don't like something. Hmm, I don't really agree with that. Whereas the British tend to do it a little less directly. I almost agree with you there. Which means they actually don't agree with you. Or another example is that in the UK, oh, interesting, might mean that it's actually not interesting and that you'd better change the topic or start saying your goodbyes. Number eight, important or not important? Incidentally, if you're talking to a British person, that should be a clear sign for you to really pay attention. When the British use this word, they are about to introduce a topic that's close to their heart and really important. Incidentally, we've completely run out of tea. Or, incidentally, an asteroid is expected to hit Earth this afternoon and wipe out all living species on the planet. It's another way of saying, by the way. And when the Americans use it, we generally don't feel too strongly about the topic that's about to come after it. Incidentally, there's a sale on eggs today. Buy 11, get one free. Number nine, work and drink. You will not find an office in the UK without a kettle. It's a stereotype and it's true. The British drink lots and lots and lots of tea during their workday. But never bring up serious business issues in the company's tea kitchen. That's considered really poor manners. And at the end of the day, you might be asked, we're popping down the local, coming? Need help decoding this invitation? Because I sure do. The local is the pub, a great British institution. It's much more than just a bar. The British go to pubs after work to relax, talk, and unwind over a pint. Sure, Americans have bars, but it's often too noisy to talk in them, and you can't get in unless you're over 21. But that's not to say that American co-workers don't socialize together, because they do. But they're more likely to do it over a team lunch, a picnic or a barbecue, or perhaps a fun run where money collected goes to help a charity. So in the business world nowadays, everyone seems to need everything ASAP. But in both the UK and the US, being friendly with your colleagues has become a vital part of business as usual. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, auf Wiedersehen.